In this vlog series, I am transforming an old three-story house into an eco home while living in my van conversion. So right now I'm setting up to make a jig because I want the rails, the uprights for the balcony, they're squares, one centimeter square. Um, and I want them to be kind of at the angle, it just somehow looks better and it kind of fits the design of the old railings, which were there before. And to do that, I've just got to make up this jig and I found these a uh, couple bits of angle, which are perfect for it. I'm just gonna line them up to the straight. And I just want to like basically just spot weld these. It's a bit, it's like kind of a galvanized, it's a bit hard to weld. Um, but the idea would just be, it's just gonna hold it so that I can do the welding um, and move up the thing and do all the rest of it. So anyway, I'm gonna do that now. So, hopefully that's strong, looks decent. Went a bit better than I hoped. Uh, and it's quite good because the bar's a bit thicker. It means I can like melt the metal on the bar and sort of bring it up into the thinner metal. So now with my freshly made jig, I've got this long clamp. I've clamped it together. This has given me the accurate height on this little jig I made. And it's just time to weld it then. It shouldn't be too bad because it's kind of thicker than the uh, than the cross beams on the balcony. So like overall it should be relatively straightforward, but you don't know, I've never done it before. So I'm just gonna give it a try. So now my idea is, with that side done, do the other side a little bit away from the wall because it's going to have a bent bit with bolts going into the wall. So I guess to come in, divide it by the nearest 10 centimetres and that's my spacing. I can basically grind off these things and just see kind of like how good those welds are. Uh, I think they're gonna be all right. professional welder would do a slightly better job, uh, probably a lot better job, um, but these are all pretty good. I'll do some zoom in just to give you a show of it, probably grind it down a little bit more, how much it matters, just put it with filler on it. But yeah, I think these are pretty good welds um, in terms of like being strong. It might not be the most beautiful things in the world, but not necessarily go for beauty with the balcony, going for finished. So what I've done is I've welded, well, I've bolted two bolts, some little flat bits of this metal on the wall. And my plan is to basically make life easy, bolt them in first and then weld onto it. So I'm just gonna give it a stab, see what happens. All right, and now I can just check everything else. Realize you have to grind off a little bit in the corner just to make sure it's metal on metal. Uh, it's gonna work, oh, I think it's gonna work well. There's a little bit of a gap there, but I've cut another bit just to fill that. It'll be fine. I have to be a bit more careful in measuring so the walls aren't straight, you see? So 
In this video, I'm going to show you how to make simple, traditional style balcony railings without all the fancy kit. So this is a MMA just stick welder. Bought on Amazon for basically 180 euros, I think. But I've got a little helmet which turns on and off when I do the welding. This is 3.5 by, I think, 8 uh, eight mil um, metal. So this is my top and bottom. Um, and then I got the local machine shop to cut for me um, all my rods. And rather than having them just flat and square, I'm just going to have them sort of in the diamond mode. So to start with, I've made this sort of wooden jig. So all it is, is a piece of cardboard. Um, and the nice thing about it is I've just screwed in a piece of metal, like sort of ribbon stuff at the top of it. Um, that means that I can have something just to push against um, for my top side. And I've marked out 11 centimeters for the first, you know, 10 or so. Um, this here is how I'm gonna make my thing sit. So I can sit it on there, put it on the floor, on the, the board I put down. Uh, line it up to my lines and then I can weld it. And what I do to begin with is I just line them up and just find the longer ones um, because they're all gonna, they're, and then they cut it pretty accurately for like plus or minus two mil. Um, and if I start off by putting in the longer ones, then I know the others will just slot in. These five bars, I'll put in first. So I'll put two in and I'll probably fill fit it in and then I'll move up the railing I'm making. It'll sit on these bars and it's actually gonna go on a structure that I've already welded up and these are just gonna sit on the bars uh, on top of it and I weld it onto the bottom of the railing and I weld it into the balcony structure. So pretty simple, nothing too fancy and to be honest I've only done this, this is my full experience of welding um, so I am not an expert but it does give a very simple way how someone who's a complete punter can make railings themselves uh, and so save thousands of dollars in paying someone else to do it. This will be my first uh, first bar. For the first one, just to kind of make sure it doesn't fall down or whatever while I'm welding it, um, I've just been putting on a clamp, just snug in, and now I'm going to basically get the welder. This your welder will have two parts. You have your little clamp thing, uh, which is your positive. Um, you can put it the other way around, but I don't know why. Um, and you just connect it to your rod. These are 2.5 mil rods, and I tend to have it running around 120 uh, on the machine. Uh, and this is negative, which you just stick onto your metal. This is it, basically. Time to weld. So I've got it in, I'm quite happy with the alignment. I know it's gonna fit with what's gonna go on upstairs. Uh, and basically, it tends to be a little hard to get it going the first time. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of trying to weave up and down um, across the joint. So I want it to kind of obviously weld both parts of the metal. With these machines, you pretty much need to just play. Like, get it out, try it with some bits of metal. Thin metal will be very easy to melt, so the sands are really important. Uh, and it just takes a little bit of time and messing around. Um, but it's quite fun, uh, and I would definitely recommend giving it a go. So basically I left the battery in charge where I did these. So basically what I did, I put a longish one here and then just work my way back. Bop, 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 bop. So now that long one's in, I can basically just come back my little lines again, put them all in, and then I just, just repeat this process until I've got all of one side welded. And I'll flip it over, weld up the other side, and then it'll be on the grinders. So as I come up to the end, now I knew it was quite a close fit for how many, because you don't want to have like a weird spacing at the end, but I just need to kill like a centimetre and a half. So in the last like five or so, I've just squeezed them by a few mil. You'll never notice this when it's up. Um, and it just means that when I come to the end of my rail, my last rail is here, and then the rail on the very corner of the balcony is here, and it's basically going to look perfect. Now I have welded each side, 
it's time just to get the angle grinder and grind off all the junk. You can see it is pretty warm. This is like oh, just sweat dripping. Um, but that's one side grind it off. Now I'm to grind off the other side. It's pretty time consuming because everything you do here is a multiple grind in each one, 36 times four. Uh, and obviously the welds, each side of the thing times four. Yeah, everything just adds up basically or multiplies up. So here we have it. You can have a look at some of my welds. Don't judge. Uh, so this one, oh, let's get in focus. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Overall, like they're pretty good, you know? And I haven't done hardly any welding. Little hole on that one, but it's all right. Paint will fill that. Um, so basically, some are a bit prettier than others, um, but that's fine. Um, if there's anything you really don't like, you always put a bit of car body filler. Sand it down. Uh, so all I've got to really do now is just um, weld on some like legs for it. Then I'll put it upstairs. I'll show you what I'm going to attach it to. So this is the balcony uh, at the moment. Some temporary wood. Uh, as you can see, this is what I made yesterday. Folded to the wall and the bottom. And these are the feet quite easy uh, and basically this one the long thing I've been making will go from this one and span over to that one so it's the front railing for this balcony which is gonna make this place such a beautiful view so for feet which we'll weld in this is a 16 mil bar There we have, basically I got it up here. Let's get it together.